Hi guys. Okay, so this is my device here, and like I said, it has one LED on it, and it gives me two degrees of freedom rather than six if I had two more LEDs on there. That's on right now, it's the purpose of using infrared. So I don't have light bulbs attached to my head and look like an arse, so, um, probably already look like an arse having cardboard <laughs> strapped to the side of my head, but anyway. So you see how it works in R Factor, and I honestly didn't do anything with the software other than run it and get these LEDs working. That's kind of neat. Now, uh, the other thing is, it's, it's quite unnatural to try to look left and right, because naturally you would look left and right, but that really doesn't do anything, because the LED is staying stationary. Um, you actually have to like move your head to the right or the left to look out the side of the car. And it also gives you the range of um, view uh, down as well as up. Not that it's really any use in the car, but I guess it's just kind of neat. So after I use, after I utilize the other two LEDs, supposed to be a lot better and I'll give you a demonstration if you if you want from there and uh, so I'm just gonna let the uh, AI drive and you'll see how it is so it's just like the track IR Pro except it's really cheap so you can look to the apex and whatever you want to yes it makes me nauseous if you're, if you're wondering but I guess that's uh, something that just takes time to get used to Also works when you're looking backwards. You know, checking out somebody coming up from behind. It works the same way. Hey, normally I don't think you'd be using this very much, but if you needed to, I mean, you could always look over to your right or your left to see if somebody's sneaking by. Um, yeah, so this is my project that was going on for on Sunday. Um, not too bad, eh?